Okay, so in the previous lecture, we have converted the color image to black and white. However, this is not the final stage. I'm going to keep this image, as I have shown you at the beginning, as uh, desaturated. It's going to be still full color image. However, introducing this conversion at this point is helpful to focus on the light and shadows and not to be distracted by colors in the image. So I can still switch it on and off. I can decrease the opacity of this layer. It's just adjustment layer. It's not permanent change to the image. Okay, so let's apply first curve, first adjustment layer curve. So I'm going to click on this little icon and select curves from here. And to introduce first very basic general curve to add a little bit more contrast to the image. So if you are familiar with curves, you know for sure the S-shaped curve that introduces usually contrast that brightens highlights and darkens shadows in the image. So the graph in the background reflects exactly our histogram. So the right hand side of the histogram represents bright tones in the image, represents highlights. The middle part of the histogram represents mid-tones and the left hand side of the histogram represents shadows. As you can see, there is not really many shadows in the image. Actually, the data is missing here. I can push this point further down and then it will expand the histogram. But this is not my point. This is not the result I want to achieve. I'm going to work much more on the highlights and mid-tones in this image. I'm pretty happy with the shadows and I'm going to actually in the further edit brighten a little bit of the hair to bring up the details that are a bit missing at the moment. Okay, so now I have applied this classic S-shaped curve to increase the contrast in the image. When you are working with curves, always keep your eye on the histogram. You don't want to have any clippings here. I can see already that I have introduced some clippings in the highlights. So this peak of information probably relates to this part of the window, so it's not bothering me. What is very important to me is to keep the texture of the skin. I don't mind having this overexposed area in the window part. However, I don't want to overexpose the skin. So I can still push this point a little bit further to brighten the image. However, I want to avoid situations when I'm starting losing data, when I'm starting losing detail and texture in the skin, as you can see in this part of her forehead. So I'm going to push this point a little bit downwards and that way I'm decreasing the contrast. Okay, so let's zoom out and we can see that by introducing this very simple S-shaped curve, we added a little bit more contrast to the image. It's a little bit more dynamic. And this very simple adjustment is very, very effective. It doesn't bother me at all that I'm starting losing details on those blinders because by introducing stronger contrast in this part of the image, I'm catching attention on the viewer, on her eyes and on the beautiful line of her chin and on the line of her head and the hair. So in this case, it's very, very effective. And just in a few minutes with the curve stool, I was able to improve the photograph. Okay, so after applying the first S-shaped curve, we can jump to the next lecture and brighten a little bit the hair to bring up more details which are lost at this moment. So next we are going to work on this part of the hair.